Welcome to the second session of this uh, three-minute series on MongoDB. And this one starts with a snotty remark by Alexander Grunenberg. So in the description of the, the, the previous video, I mentioned that MongoDB has a familiar face for those used to computational statistics in R or MATLAB. And it, it says that it doesn't think so. It doesn't think it looks like the R or MATLAB. It looks like JavaScript, not the R or MATLAB of big data. And then he has a challenge. It will be more interesting to see the square root function applied to actual data stored in MongoDB. So let's use this as a chance to go over how to create a database and place some data within one collection within that database. So the daemon is already going. You can go straight to the shell. Let's make the font a little bigger. And now start Mongo. Let's find out what databases are there. There's staff, test, and local. So let's create a new one. Use Vala. Vala doesn't exist. And indeed, if we say show databases, Lala is not in, in the list. But that's the one we are using. So the database is not yet created, it's just on hold waiting for us to insert something on it. So I'm going to create a collection within Lala. I'm going to call it Lala. And I'm going to save a little key value pair. I'm going to call it x, just like last time. And the value is going to be the vector of 1 to 9. And the first time we insert something on the collection, the database is created. So if you ask for the list of databases, now Lala is available. Now let's query Lala to see what's inside Lala. So database in the collection Lala. Let's find out what's inside. And we find an object. Now let's call this object with a variable name. We we'll call it Z. And you know what Z has inside has a single object. So if you now say z in the index of the first object, oops, it's too fast, z, we have the object. Now if we type z dot x, we find the vector. Now let's recall that we can define, say, a function of a number that returns math square root of a and now if we say f of 9 we get 3 so if you now go back to z map of f all right alex you've got your answer i'm waiting for another snotty remark maybe by someone else if in addition to Alex. Alex is pretty good at snotty remarks, but I'm, I'm opening the challenge to anyone who wants to give it a try. All right, see you next time.